Hi, I'm Michael Giblin with FiddlerShop.com, and this is a short tutorial on the fourth violin part for the Game of Thrones group project here at Fiddler Shop. Um, as I also mentioned in the third violin part, these inner voices, and you're kind of play, actually playing the bass part, is incredibly important, and we're counting on you, and we need you. I'm hoping lots of people submit third and fourth parts um, because it's an incredibly important part, and you're you're the foundation that everything else is built on. Yes, it's maybe not as glamorous as, you know, playing the melody or also playing sort of the more busier parts, um, but it's, this is a great part if you're a little bit newer to playing the violin or, or viola or cello, or I guess um, you can play the same part on each of those instruments. Um, what's gonna be really challenging and it's, what's gonna be very tempting is to uh, jump, jump the gun and instead of playing half dotted half notes is to play these as quarter notes. So really resist that temptation. I'm gonna put the metronome on just for a second. This is about where the eighth note is. So it's like one and a two and a three and a four and a one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Again, one, two. It's very tempting um, to, after going to jump ahead, jump ahead, jump the gun there. So really uh, be very disciplined and make sure you're always counting. One, two, three, four. In measure four, um, you can, I, I like playing, playing this with four. Just so you can control the intonation just a little bit more um, if you're D string. I mean, you, you can go ahead and play open D string if you'd like. It just doesn't give you quite as much control. You're kind of, if your D string changes in pitch a little bit, or if, and really this applies to any sort of ensemble playing, if you're playing with other people. Um, sometimes the other people you're playing with, their intonation gets a little strange. And so playing, when you can play fourth, instead of playing open strings, sometimes you have to um, in order to, uh, you know, fit the intonation in. So um, hopefully, you know, you'll be playing, you'll, you'll get everything tuned uh, beforehand, and so it won't really matter. You can probably just play open string and it'll be fine if you're in tune. Well, all that to say, please make sure you're in tune if you're gonna play open strings. Uh, let's look on measure five. So this is one, two, three, four, and this is one, Start, we're gonna start to open this up a little bit. We start a very, in, a, in a piano dynamic. I'm not sure it's written, um, but this starts off very softly. But by the time you get to um, measure, what is this, five, six, seven, and eight, you can start to open this up a little bit. Use a little bit more bow. So there's a couple different options here. What I might suggest to do is in measure 10, just break break that up and use two bows. One, two, three, four. And then in 11, you can go one, two, three, four. Um, there's, there's, you know, there's plenty of opportunity to, to break, break that up. Always change the bowing to what you need to. Don't, and then which sort of comes to a big overarching principle is don't play Boeings, play music. Um, so just because something is written one way, one way, if you need to change it because you're getting stuck, if you're going and then, and then, and then, and then you're, the second bow you know, sounds like garbage because you haven't changed Boeing, it's not worth it. So, so suit your Boeings, um, change your Boeings to suit the music and the sound. Okay. Um, enough of that, Ryan. Sorry, sorry about that. Um, uh, we're gonna move on. I'm gonna look at measure 12, I think is where we are. So this is on two, three. Here, where it's okay to pulse just a little bit. Don't give it like, like we're not 
quite headbanging, although it's kind of there, but just give it a two. In measure 14, if you can play these double stops, uh, if you can play them in tune, go ahead and do that. Sometimes to, find, to get in fifths in tune, which is very difficult, so don't beat yourself up over that, about this, is that you kind of have to move your arm around, try different angles, try uh, I mean, of course, make sure your open strings aren't tuned. So that, that they're okay. Wow, that's really difficult. Okay, um, so I think I've basically found it. But it's very fickle. So when stuff like that happens, like, it's okay to just pick one of the notes. Um, it's better to just play one note in tune rather than two notes out of tune. Um, okay. Um, so either one, I would suggest probably, probably just play the, probably play the top note. Um, yeah, either one, it doesn't really matter. Um, and 15, a nice A flat, and this is a very sweeping melodic part of the tune. So really use lots of bow. You can make even bigger this time. So the first time it can be a little bit not quite as big. Um, but then, then by the time we get to 19, this is this is even bigger. It's the the violin has gone up an octave. It's a, it's a very dramatic part. It's where um, this whole piece is basically a big crescendo. Um, so when you get to 19, really big full bows. Play play to you know as if you were in the big concert hall, not just in your tiny room. Um, If, you, if you're used to using vibrato, give it some vibrato, give it really warm it up. One, two. And then really big, uh, big flourish here. Um, music is a, it's a, it's a very visual art form. We spend a lot of stress and anxiety about how everything just sounds and think that people just watch, you know, listen to music with, with their eyes closed. They don't. When they go to a concert hall, it's a, it's a very visually exciting medium. And so you have to sort of, uh, you know, acknowledge it. You don't, I mean, I, don't, I never suggest, you know, doing anything showy just for showmanship's sake. That's tricky to say. But, um, but lean into it. Um, we, we, you know, have some fun. A nice, it's, it's nice to see these sort of extra things. It's important to, you know, uh, enjoy music and, and sometimes it really helps the audience if, if it looks like you're into it and you're excited about it too. Um, I don't know why I didn't mean to rant all about that, but anyways, the last measure of course is just a nice little soft down bow. Just, um, really prepare prepare your yourself. Don't just um, start, you know, and go for it. Really, just sort of as if like the bow is already going, and it and and then it and then it meets the string. It doesn't it doesn't go down and then start going. So we are already in motion, and then it just sort of, sort of like the airplane landing, right? You know, it's coming in and then it meets the string. That's one way to do it. Or, if, I mean, that's a, don't stress about the last note, of course, just, you can also just get on the string and then play, you know, over the fingerboard might be more, a more, uh, a bigger, a bigger tip to take in mind, tip, tip to heart. Sure, tip to mind, all the things. Well, uh, I hope that was helpful. Uh, we really look forward to having uh, your, your part 
uh, we need lots of these third and fourth violin parts are very important so I'm hoping we get lots of submissions uh, if you have any questions let us know and we look forward to seeing you as part of the group project through fiddlershop.com thanks for watching Bye, 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 bye,